2020 Dems pose a big dilemma for Schumer. Senate Democratic leader Charles Schumer's efforts to unify Democrats and prevent a shutdown are complicated by lawmakers with presidential hopes who are pushing for a hardline stance against any short-term spending measure that doesn't protect certain young immigrants from deportation. Senate Democrats such as Cory Booker, uh, Kristen Gillibrand, and Kamala Harris have signaled they will not support a short-term spending bill that leaves the fate of these immigrants, often called dreamers, up in the air. All three potential presidential candidates, along with two others, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, voted against a recent four-week spending stopgap that does not address the plight of recipients of the DACA program. Yeah, that's what they should be doing politically. And, and they fell short of it in December. They had a moment. Remember when Obama was in office and Republicans would, like, would just like plant their feet in the ground at every opportunity? Democrats had a chance to do that. Democrats had a chance to be like, if, if DACA spending is not involved, we're, we're not going to be on board for this. We're going to resist this. Literally, actually resist this. Not make resistance style, actually resist it. They didn't. They rolled over and played dead. Chuck Schumer supported it. Instead of letting a short-term shutdown happen and pinning it to the Republicans. Pinning it to the Republicans. And being like, why aren't we doing this? Because Republicans... Don't want to come through on DACA, a promise we made to immigrants that are in this country and are playing by the rules. They don't want to compromise on that, so we're not going anywhere. They're forcing this. Pin it to the Republicans and actually look like you stand for something. Instead, the Democrats didn't do that. They want to roll over and play dead. Chuck Schumer wants to continue to roll over and play dead. Why? Because his donors want it. And who's resisting it? People that might want a shot at the White House in 2020. The one thing this says, and I, I don't think, you know, and, and I think this is just a political football. I, I, I think that they're, they're, they're going to roll over and play dead on DACA anyway, unfortunately. But this is a political football because people like Cory Booker and Kamala Harris, they know that they need to at least appear to support stuff like this if they want a shot at the office in 2020. What does that mean? That means a couple things. First of all, that means that legislation does not give a shit about public opinion at all. Something we already knew. We already knew that, but, but this makes it more apparent than ever because you have people throwing political footballs to make themselves look better for a 2020 run. Uh, don't be fooled by the smoke and mirrors, by the way. Don't be fooled by the smoke and mirrors. Just like, don't be fooled by Cory Booker's crocodile tears. And I'm sorry, that's what they were. They, they were crocodile tears. When he has not really come out in support of single payer. Uh, you know, I, I mean, he's, he's giving it lip service. He's like, yeah, I'm co-sponsoring the bill with Bernie, but I'm, I'm looking into all these other things too. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this with Bernie, but I'm also looking into other things. Other things, not single payer. That's what other things is code for, not single payer. Other things means a donor approved version, meaning millions of people still aren't going to have health care. That's what that means. So, you know... You know, I'm willing to hear people out between now and then, of course, but I'm certainly not going to fall for these political footballs. I encourage you to not do the same. Um, I, or I encourage you to do the same. <laughs> I encourage you to fall for the political football. I'm not going to, but you should. No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think these 2020 Dems are going to pose. I think what, what this piece is really telling us is that the people that want to see the White House potentially in 2020, they know that public opinion wants DACA. Public opinion wants Medicare for all. So they're going to they're gonna give that appearance in public. Whether they'll actually come through when, when it's time for legislation, when it's time to take a stand, uh, I'm going to say probably not. We'll see. But this shows that the people in 2020 know where public opinion is and they care just enough uh, to put on the facade when they need to. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer-curated streaming news show. 
What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.